Hello, today's daily reading comes from the Apocrypha from the book of Tobit, chapter 6, and reads as follows. Now as they went on their journey, they came at evening to the river Tigris, and they lodged there. But the young man went down to wash himself, and a fish leaped out of the river, and would have swallowed up the young man. But the angel said to him, Grab the fish. So the young man grabbed the fish and hauled it up into the land. The angel said to him, Cut the fish open and take the hardened liver and the bile and keep them with you. And the young man did as the angel commanded him. But they roasted the fish and ate it. And they both went on their way until they drew near to Ekbatana. The young man said to the angel, Brother Azarias, of what use is the heart and liver and bile of the fish? He said to him, About the heart and the liver, if a demon or an evil spirit troubles anyone, we must burn those and make smoke of them before the man or the woman and the affliction will flee. But as for the bile, it is good to anoint a man that has white films in his eyes, and he will be healed. But when they drew near to Rages, the angel said to the young man, Brother, today we will lodge with Ragul. He is your kinsman. He has an only daughter named Sarah. I will speak about her, and she should be given to you for a wife. For her inheritance belongs to you, and you only are of kindred. The maid is fair and wise, and now hear me, and I will speak to her father. When we return from rages, we will celebrate the marriage, for I know that Regal may in no way marry her to another according to the law of Moses, or else he would be liable to death, because it belongs to you to take the inheritance rather than any other. Then the young man said to the angel, Brother Azarias, I have heard that this maid has been given to seven men, and that they all perished in the bride chamber. Now I am the only son of my father, and I am afraid, lest I go in and die, even as those before me. For a demon loves her, which harms no man but those which come to her. Now I fear lest I die and bring my father's and my mother's life to the grave with sorrow because of me. They have no other son to bury them. But the angel said to him, Don't you remember the words which your father commanded you, that you should take a wife of your own kindred? Now hear me, brother, for she will be your wife. Don't worry about the demon, for this night she will be given to you as wife. And when you can't come into the bride chamber, you will take the ashes of incense and will lay upon them some of the heart and liver of the fish and will make smoke with them. The demon will smell it and flee away and never come again any more. But when you go near to her, both of you rise up and cry to God, who is merciful. He will save you and have mercy on you. Don't be afraid, for she is prepared for you. She was prepared for you from the beginning, and you will save her, and she will go with you. And I suppose that you will have children with her. When Tobias heard these things, he loved her, and his soul was strongly joined to her. Chapter 7 They came to Ekbatana and arrived at the house of Regal, but Sarah met them, and she greeted them, and they her. Then she brought them into the house. Regal said to Edna, his wife, This young man really resembles Tobit, my cousin. And Regal asked them, Where are you two from, kindred? They said to him, We are the sons of Naphtali, who are captives in Nineveh. He said to them, Do you know Tobit, our brother? They said, We know him. Then he said to them, Is he in good health? They said, He is both alive and in good health. Tobias said, He is my father. And Regal sprang up and kissed him, wept, blessed him, and said to him, You are the son of an honest and good man. When he had heard that Tobit had lost his sight, he was grieved and wept. And Edna, his wife, and Sarah's daughter wept. They received them gladly, and they killed a ram of the flock and served them meat. But Tobias said to Raphael, brother of Azariah, Speak of those things of which you talked about in the way, and let the matter be finished. So he communicated the thing to Regal. Regal said to Tobias, Eat, drink, and make merry. For it belongs to you to take my child. However, I will tell you the truth. I have given my child to seven men of our relatives, and whenever they came into her, they died in the night. But for the present, be merry. And Tobias said, I will taste nothing here until you make until you all make a covenant and enter into the covenant with me. Regal said, Take her to yourself from now on according to custom. You are her relative and she is yours. The merciful God will give all good success to you. And he called his daughter Sarah and took her by the hand and gave her 
to be wife of Tobias and said, Behold, take her to yourself after the law of Moses and lead her away to your father. And he blessed them. He called Edna his wife, then took a book, wrote a contract and sealed it. Then they began to eat. And Regal called his wife Edna and said to her, Sister, prepare the other chamber and bring her in there. She did, and he asked her and brought her in there. She wept, and she received the tears of her daughter and said to her, Be comforted, my child. May the Lord of heaven and earth give you favor. For this, your sorrow, be comforted, my daughter. Amen.